I'm going to show you how to partition your hard drive or your computer. First, you go to your computer, right click, hit manage. Hit disk management. Select the drive you want to partition. Hit shrink volume. The bigger the drive, the longer this will take. When you are shrinking it, the partition, you have to put in for one gig is one thousand four twenty four megs equal one gig. Then hit shrink. You can put in whatever number, just use a calculator for each gig you want for 124, I mean 1024. When you're done, hit right click, hit new simple volume. Next. Put in the amount of space you want for the partition. Hit next. Put a letter. And hit next. Make sure it's all at default. Put in a name if you want to, or just clear it. Perform a, for a quick format. Hit finish. <sighs> now, in your computer, you should have a new drive. Now add stuff into it for more like backing up files and news like files, music, videos. If your primary like the drive that your operating system is on and it and your operating system sort of like crashes and you have to reinstall Windows. That partition right this right here is mine. This partition will only be formatted and the rest won't. So everything will be safe on the other drives. To remove a mm, um, partition, you right click, hit delete volume, hit yes. To expand, like add more to another drive, hit extend volume, hit next, next. Hit finish, and it should. Now there's only three drives, and my D drive has more space, an extra gig. For people that have Windows XP, for some reason you cannot shrink the volume in disk management. You have to download a, a software. I pr the one I use is um, Ease Us Partition Ma Master. This does work with um, Windows 7 2. It actually partitions, like you can make more partitions than disk management can, and, you, and it shrinks a lot better too. Whenever you do something like I'm gonna resize this. This is shrinking it. You hit OK. Whatever you on what everything you do is not really affected yet until you hit apply and sometimes it'll automatically restart your computer and do it and when it boots back up and it'll like restart a few times. Then you hit create. Put in how much space you want. Hit OK. You could hmm. 
and see the properties on it. Once you hit apply, everything will take an effect and it'll auto, like, sometimes it'll prompt, like, I don't know, sometimes it'll prompt you for a restart, but sometimes it'll just do it automatically, I don't know why, you might be going to the settings and change it. Hmm. Not really for sure, I haven't quite understand this, but, all your, um, actual files cannot be when you shrink it your main the primary files cannot be affected that's what these orange sections are and that and it shrinks a whole lot better than disk management but every time when you um re reboot window like when you get it all formatted in it like the, after your reboot when you finally start Windows it'll ask you to reboot one more time because when it boots up it thinks it's an actual different hard drive and you'll have to reboot the computer one last time and start and and then it'll then you could use the partition. Yeah, you get hot make the partition hidden. I don't really know how that how you be able to find it. But I don't really know how it's done. You could convert um a logical drive to a primary or vice versa I think no it's turning a logical drive into a primary setting it as active you only do that if you have um, an operating system on it that's the same with um the disk management when you act click active it'll, you only do that when it has an operating system because it'll make the drive unstable or not usable if you just don't want to if you make a mess I think you click undo and everything you did Just remember, when you hit apply, sometimes it'll directly do a shutdown. So you might want to close all your stuff before even doing this. Like if you were doing a text document or something, highly recommend to save all that stuff. And that's how you partition a hard drive. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up, and later.